Bill, you've been working with Prime Global Firms for 12 years and with our leadership, with our high potentials, with many of our firms. How do you think Prime Global Firms are positioned compared to other associations for all of this discussion? Open-mindedness, preparedness, how they're hiring, training? Well, probably the thing that, that's the most impressive about the Prime Global Firms is that when you look at firms across the country, many of them are reluctant to invest in, in leadership. Many of them talk about leadership, but many of them are reluctant to invest in leadership. And so many of our firms are, are sending their managers to leadership training, they're sending their partners to leadership training. And you can sit back and say, okay, that's interesting. But when you've got young partners that are walking in with different ideas than the older partners, and the older partners are saying, you go learn that, it's okay if you're pushing us to change. That to me is really different in the space where a lot of people are saying, we think leadership's great, but we're not investing in it. And I think the prime global firms are constantly putting money where their mouth is and saying, if, if this is where we are gonna be, I need the leaders pushing us from below. Okay. Tommy, do you wanna add anything now that you're working with prime global firms? I would just say in the last six months or so that I've been working with the prime global firms is, it's not just lip service, the partners are really committed to making sure that the managers or their fellow partners get the most out of this and I'm learning the most of that through the calls before the leadership training starts the follow-up calls the calls that we get or the emails um, indicating this is what I really want this person to work on they're invested in it they want to make sure that they're not only giving the person time to come to these leadership but when they get back to the office that they're allowing them the flexibility to actually try and implement this and giving them, them the support to do that within the firm. Most of the time when you walk into certain programs, you don't start with, okay, all of these people, they wouldn't invest in them if they weren't skilled. But every one of them has a different weakness in their skill set. And so we're starting the conversations with, where do you want to see improvement? And by the end, when you're hearing from the managing partner, this is a different person. <laughs> that, that makes a difference. But this is a different person because we, we wanted to develop in this area and they're coming back that way. Well, we really love our relationship and appreciate that friendship. So thank you both for working with our leaders. And thanks for talking to me this morning.